information gathering within disciple making movements. Module 2. Jesus coached his apostles. Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans. Enter ye not. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as ye go, preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Principle 2. Jesus and his apostles combined the coaching of new leaders with the making of disciples and the planting of new churches. Action 2. Lead co-workers in Discovery Bible Studies on Jesus Mentorship and Tracking Methods. A. In a big group, form small study groups. B. Have each group choose a recorder who will write down their main findings. C. Assign each group one of the following scripture passages, or similar ones. Matthew 9, 35, through 10, 13. Mark 6, 7, through 12, plus verse 30. Luke 9, 1, through 6 plus verse 10. Luke 10, 1, through 9, plus verse 17. d. Allow groups up to 7 minutes, to read the text aloud, and for members to reply together to this query. In what ways did Jesus coach his apostles, before and after sending them out to tell the good news? e. Have each group's recorder summarize for everyone their group's main findings. Most groups will report findings similar to the following. Affirm their findings before you mention your own. Jesus appointed and empowered workers to do all that he himself did. Workers were to ask God to raise up more workers. Resources come from the harvest. Jesus would plan with workers their methods, where to go, what to do, and what to say. Afterwards, Jesus would listen to workers report on all that they had said, done and observed. Workers proved eager to relate to Jesus their stories of what God had accomplished. Training 2 in training seminars, ask participants to break out in pairs to practice a seven-step coaching method. The parts may be done in any order. 1. Pray for wisdom for each worker's next steps. 2. Listen to reports, stories, and opportunities. 3. Agree on a plan for each worker's next steps. 4. Assign Bible readings and study materials related to their agreed plan. 5. Review previous assignments, by listening to workers tell what they learned. 6. Provide practical guidelines, and practice together any new skills. 7. Intercede for each one's work, for new churches and for new workers. Conclusion 2. Most information on outcomes of church planting and disciple making can be reliably collected by those who regularly coach their co-workers.